Okay, this video is going to be showing you how to set up for every event, all the steps. Okay, so there's a few things you're going to have to set up before every event that you start. Okay, you're going to want to set up the event. You're going to want to tell the software where you want the photo saved. Um, things like that. So the very first thing you're going to do is you're going to open this folder called event photos. And you're going to create a new folder and call it whatever the event is. Let's new folder. We'll call this folder. Um, I don't know. Let's call it video test. Video test. Okay. Now you have a nice folder that all your images are going to go into. Okay. Let's close that. Now you're going to open up darkroom booth. Double click it. Here's Darkroom Booth. Now, normally when it opens, it'll be already in the settings. Okay, we'll go over all this on a live video. Whenever I sell these booths, um, I actually log in live and go through the whole software with you. So we're not going to do that here. We're just going to set up the event. Okay. Next thing you're going to do is go to Booth Events, Duplicate Event, because we're going to duplicate the last event that you did, which on this one it's Master. So now it made it Master One. You're going to click Booth Events again, Edit Event Info, and I usually call it the same thing I called that folder. So let's call it Video Test. Enter. Okay. Now you'll see over here I have a little event called Video Test. Now the next thing I'm going to do is go right here where it says Save Output 1 and then Copy Originals. What save output one is, is the output is the actual photo strip that looks like this. With all three photos in, that's what that output is. Copy originals is every individual photo it also saves. Okay? So, we're going to go to save output one. Browse. Find that folder. So, go to desktop, event photos, video test. Click OK. Click OK. Now, you're going to go to copy originals. Browse. Desktop, event photos, video tests, OK, and OK. And, um, and then, of course, you're going to want to change your template. Um, we're just going to leave this template. Again, in that video, when we go live, I show you how to, how to uh, make a template. Um, there's a template editor in here. So if you go to choose, there's also a lot of built-in templates. So you see there's all kinds of stuff already in there. See, lots of templates. Um, but if you double click any of the templates, double click. This is the template editor. And you have all types of little tools down here. You can move things around, delete things, um, add artwork, shapes, add different photo elements, um, effects, all kinds of stuff you can do inside here. Um, also, if you hold down the screen, it'll open up menus with even more stuff in there, like. Um, uh, Fill to fit, make same, center, align, spacing, order, rotating, zooming, things like that. Um, and then, of course, in properties, there's even more things where you can add um, outlines, uh, drop shadows, and other effects. So there's a lot of stuff in this software if you don't have Photoshop. If you have Photoshop, then you can also create everything in Photoshop and then bring it over. Um, I use Photoshop. I've been using it geez, since 1997. So for me, Photoshop is super fast and easy. So I, I do everything in Photoshop, then I drop it in here. And once I drop it in here, then you just click Choose, and you'll see what strip is being used for this project. And then all you do 